speak about lexicon in the literature. I've been going through all these classes with Schlossberg, Murphy, we have to do papers and articles for our research methods class. And everywhere that I look, I see the word manipulation, representation, representing what we use in as adjustment. And it infuriates me that in the public and in our profession and in the literature, we're using the word manipulation for what we're doing in chiropractic. So I want to start, I want to have you all close your eyes and just feel. I want to read a quote from B.J. Palmer that I love. We chiropractors work with the subtle substance of the soul. We release the prisoned impulses, a tiny rivulet of force that emanates from the mind and flows over the nerves to the cells and stirs them to the hues and scents the flowers with the glory of the air. And now take a moment and feel manipulation. And now take a moment and feel adjustment. I know that I know the difference between a spinal manipulation and a chiropractic adjustment. Straight up, yes or yes? Do you know? Yes. 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 I'm fired up because I have a patient who comes in for a work comp case. She came in so antalgic she could not stand up. And the only reason I could see her is because she was going to a work comp office, and when she came out of that work comp office, she got hit by a car and turned into a PI. And we took her from being totally antalgic to functioning in her life, her brightness, her life expressing through her being. And now her PI case is closed, and I get a prescription from her nurse at the work comp office for six visits for manipulation, and it drives me crazy. So I went then to the Oracle. I Googled, I'm like, what am I so mad about? Why am I so mad about the, this language? Why am I so mad about the differentiation between manipulation and adjustment? So I actually got a little less mad when I went online and I Googled it because in manipulation and the definitions that I was, language around using your hands in an artful or skillful manner. And I was like, actually, that's kind of cool. That is incredible. <laughs> I was like, dang, this is going to my top. Uh, but then we go in, and there is the reasons why I feel like it's unfit to describe what it is that we do, that release of prisoned impulses, is that it is to influence deviously, to tamper or falsify for personal gain therapeutic intervention, to control by unfair or insidious means to serve one's purpose. <clears throat> and in Wikipedia, I appreciated when I looked up spinal manipulation, there was a differentiation that said the chiropractic approach, see spinal adjustment. I thought that was great. Except when I went to the spinal adjustment page, they talked about how, it was a very brief, not very good explanation, um, and at the end they said, there is no evidence to show that it serves in any efficacy against the disease. And I, I thought on this story about evidence, and in originally the search for publication about chiropractic adjustment and seeing only spinal manipulation, is that we visited an office down in San Diego over the break. And I listened to a grandfather bring his granddaughter into a chiropractic office because the parents had brought this little girl in because she had night terrors. Imagine your little girl waking up in the night screaming in terror. And there is no solace, there is no solution from your medical doctors. And you, somebody, your friend says, why don't you take him to my chiropractor? And with one adjustment, her night terrors go away. And her grandfather searches for an explanation and cannot find one. And he comes and he brings the daughter 
to the office, and it's the CA at the front desk who is incredible. Train your staff so they can tell them too. And she told the story of innate, of the power within to heal the body. And the grandfather just was there in wonder, and he didn't understand, he didn't know, he said, why can't I find this anywhere? That's an aside. On to adjustment. So I looked up adjustment also online and looked for definitions. And there are first things that come up have to do with like legal claims, and some of which I actually like to see. The settlement in which the amount involved is uncertain. When we make adjustments, we don't know exactly what is going on. We provide an impulse for a correction, and we allow it innate, the power within their body, to find right, exact, what they need, where they need to be. Adjust means the addition of just from Latin being right. A correction to reflect actual conditions, to bring a more satisfactory state, to resolve, to adapt, to achieve mental and behavioral balance between one's own needs and the demands of others. I looked up adjusted, accommodated to suit a particular set of circumstances or requirements, having achieved an often, unspecified, an often specified and usually harmonious relationship with the environment or with others or with other individuals. So here, here's what it is for me. Manipulation. Man. I. Educated. It's from the practitioner. It's something that the practitioner does to a patient. That's not where I live. That's not the release of life in beings. For me, adjustment is innate. and impulse that comes through me. It is releasing prison impulses. It's freedom. It's connection. It's life. It's love. Why is it that we have become neck pain, back pain, car accident doctors? Why is that? The, the vision that most people in the world have of chiropractors. And I say that it is our fault. It is chiropractors' fault for not speaking up, not telling the story. It is greed, it is laziness, and it is cowardice. And it is our duty to tell people the truth, to be uncomfortable, to get up in front of people and be that person at that dinner table. Like, who is this greedy person? Because people, when they hear the truth, it does resonate with them. And you need to tell them over and over and over again until they can hear it. Ignorance is rampant in our world. And it's rampant in our profession. And listening to D'Onofrio over last weekend, he said the only cure, the only thing that we can treat is ignorance. And that is with our words. It is our calling to release life. An adjustment is to increase what is right in the world, to increase the light in the world, to create connection, collaboration, community, communication. It is my dream that chiropractic be more truthfully represented in the public, in publications, that a grandfather knows so I charge us to get uncomfortable, to open your hearts, open your mouths, and to know on the deepest level. And to end with a quote from our beloved Jeannie, to raise the bar and truly embody what's possible, because it really is limitless.